Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's time for another lovely TTV shout out. So I wanna go ahead and shout out this brand new auto wear company. They're called Eskimo. And not too long ago they hit me up and they wanted me to choose a jacket off of their website called Eskimo.co. So I went to the website and when I saw this black and purple jacket, I was instantly in love, okay? So their jackets are beautiful. As you guys can see me here in this video modeling the jacket. Um, the outer shell is very heavy duty. It's a really good quality jacket. They really like about this jacket Jacket is not only the quality but the fact that there's so many ways to customize this jacket when you go onto their website there's a lot of different outer shells to choose from everything from fatigue to silver metallic to just plain black and then another really cool thing is that you can also choose the color fur that you want around the hoodie as well so they have everything from purple to blue to pink multicolored even and even some neutral colors as well another good thing is that the coat also comes in different lengths the one that I'm currently rocking is thigh length but you can also have one that's closer to waist length as well if you're interested in that the purple hood just stands out so if you guys are interested in this beautiful outerwear jacket make sure you guys click the link down below it's going to be pinned down in the comments section like i said they just launched their website on november 1st so let's go out and make sure that we support them all right, you guys, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Kanye West situation and kind of break it down to y'all. We've been having a crazy conversation on Instagram concerning all the tweets that Kanye West sent out the other day about Drake. And I told y'all on Instagram, I stand with Kanye. I believe what Kanye West is saying. As much as I was such a big Drake fan, you guys know this, some of y'all accuse me of being a damn Drake stan. Um, I had to, you know, finally wake up and realize that Drake is not as innocent and, you know, clean and demure as he tries to cure himself. Drake is a very dirty individual, and the more information I found out about Drake, the more I had to give him the side eye, especially after he got that porn lady pregnant. Once he got her pregnant and basically hid the pregnancy, try to hide her, I couldn't take him seriously anymore. A lot of people have low-key caught out Drake for his sneaky ways and the way he green lights a lot of shit behind the scenes. Even Johnny Blaze was talking about how Drake has basically forced girls to have abortions and miscarriages and everything else once they have found out they were pregnant by Drake. But you know, the porn lady, she ended up escaping and she was able to keep her baby by Drake, okay? So anyways, if you guys don't know, Kanye West literally wrote an entire dissertation. He posted about 100 tweets, basically calling out Drake's shady ways, but most importantly, he told the whole world that Drake threatened him, okay? So a lot of folks thought that Kanye was just playing, oh, Kanye's being dramatic, he's a Trump supporter, they didn't give a fuck. You know, he said the same thing about Jay-Z. And then the very next day, Kim Kardashian, she took to social media, and it confused a lot of us at first because she didn't have commas, and the way she wrote it was kinda off, but we all came to the conclusion that Kim was saying that Drake should never threaten my family again, okay? I know this was a huge debate on The Shade Room and on different websites, but basically Kim Kardashian was having her husband's back. So this is what Kim Kardashian said on Twitter. Check this out. So Kim Kardashian says, at Drake, never threaten my husband or our family. He paved the way for there to be a Drake. My husband is the most brilliant person and the most genius person that I know. He has broken so many boundaries, everything from music, stage design, fashion and culture, and will continue to change the world. So after her tweet went viral, some folks were dragging Kim, they were telling her to stay out of it. And in my personal opinion, Kim has every right to jump in it because that is her husband and she's having her husband's back. And at the end of the day, like Tammy Wynette said, stand by your man. <laughs> I'm not mad at her for standing with Kanye, okay? So after Kim's tweet went viral, Kanye West went back onto social media and he basically let the world know that the next day he planned on confronting Travis Scott because as we all know, Travis Scott and Drake recently collabed on one of his songs and the song was called Sicko Mode. And in that song, Drake was basically low key dissing Kanye West. And I crept down a block, block, made a right, yeah. Cut the lights, yeah. Pay the price, yeah. Niggas think it's sweet. It's on sight, yeah. And so Kanye was not feeling that, especially being that him and Drake live very close to each other. And so Kanye West posted a map of his house and Drake's house, okay? So once that went viral, TMZ started reporting that Drake has decided to get extra security because supposedly he's scared of crazy Kanye and what Kanye West may do to him. 
I personally feel like Drake only put that story out there to once again look like the innocent, you know, good guy and say, you know what, Kanye West is crazy. I'm scared for my life. When he knows damn well Kanye West is not going to do anything to him, Kanye West is not about that life. So I feel like Drake put that out there once again to make Kanye look crazy. And TMZ caught up with Kanye the other day and basically he was skipping and running through the street saying that he felt good and he ran off and he told TMZ goodbye, okay? Okay, so that was Friday night. Check this out. What was the threat? Feeling good, made? all love. What's up, man? Uh, the run. All right, so you guys just saw Kanye West skipping back to his car. So now today, everything went down on Twitter, okay? It's been insane. Right now, Kanye West is trending once again. Peter trending, Ariana was trending, Nicki Minaj was trending. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. So what happened is that earlier today, around midnight, Ariana took to Twitter and she basically tweeted this. Go ahead and check this out. So Ariana says, guys, I know there are grown men arguing online, but Miley and I are dropping our beautiful new songs tonight. So if y'all could please just behave for like a few hours so the girls could get some shine, that'd be so sick, thank you. So after she posted that, her post went viral and Kanye West was not here for it. So he replied back to Ariana Grande and this is what Kanye West had to say. So Kanye West says, I know Ariana said this to be cool and didn't mean no harm, but I don't like even the slightest level of slight commentary from someone I know loves and respects me. People would no longer take mental health for a joke. Drake verbally attacked Kid Cudi when he was in the hospital and went at me after TMZ because I decided to release albums in June. Snowballed and he refused to meet with me but texted my mother-in-law and did sync disses on people's records that I consider family. Once again, he's referring to Sicko Mode, a song that, you know, Drake did with Travis Scott. All of this foolishness weighed on my mental health. So at Ariana Grande, you know I got love for you, but until you're ready to really make sure everyone's okay, don't use me or this moment to promote a song. So after she posted that her ex-boyfriend, Peter Davison, he took to social media and he basically posted a note, which a lot of people said that was a cry for help. This is what Peter Davison had to say. So he says, bravo Kanye West for standing up for yourself and speaking out against mental health. I can't explain to you enough how difficult and scary it is to be honest about stuff like this. We need more people like Kanye. No one should ever point fingers at you for your bravery in speaking about mental health. I'm seriously disgusted. So after Pete Davidson posted that, Ariana then tweeted and deleted this. She says, last thing, stop weaponizing mental health, everyone. Damn. Then she went on to reply back to Kanye West. So Ariana says, with all due respect, I don't need to use anyone to promote anything, period. I was making a comment about what men were doing at the time versus women. It was a joke, which I understand now was probably insensitive. I apologize if it was in any way triggering and hope you feel well today. So then Kanye West replied back to Ariana and he says, no one would ever choose to end up in a mental hospital diagnosed with a mental disorder, but God chose me to publicly go through this journey and it's beautiful. So after Kanye replied back to Ariana Grande, Peter Davidson, he took to social media and he posted this and a lot of people are saying that this is definitely a cry for help. So Pete Davidson says, I really don't wanna be on this earth anymore. I'm doing my best to stay here for you, but I actually don't know how much longer I can last. All I've ever tried to do was help people. Just remember I told you so, heart. All right, so you guys just saw what Pete Davidson wrote. So a lot of people were really worried. Some folks were clowning him and telling him that he's looking for attention. Other folks were going in on Kanye West. The whole situation got really messy on social media. Eventually, Nicki Minaj got involved and she basically went off on a lot of people for going at Pete Davidson and Kanye West. So this is what Nicki Minaj had to say. So Nicki Minaj says, we can be so insensitive. God bless Kanye and Pete. Being flippant about mental illness speaks more about you than them. Stop saying the word love and live it. Love is an action. So that's what Nicki Minaj had to say. So then after her tweet went viral, Kanye West came back to social media and he basically let the whole world know that he met with Travis Scott and that everything went good. So Kanye West says, met with Trav at my crib this morning, 
we expressed ourselves, it's all love. So as you guys see, this entire situation was crazy from the time Kanye started going off about Drake to the time Kim Kardashian got involved and then Ariana Grande got involved and he caught her out and then Pete Davidson got involved and then Nicki Minaj. So this entire situation is insane and I hope that Kanye West ends up finding peace. Like I said on Instagram, I definitely believe what Kanye West has to say. So many times if somebody's more popular or more attractive, people automatically side with them without actually doing research. But like I said, there's been a lot of things that people have called Drake out on over the years that have been ignored because of his good boy persona. And because a lot of people don't like Kanye West, because of this whole Donald Trump fiasco, a lot of people have written off Kanye West. And just because he has ties to Donald Trump does not mean that what he's saying about Drake and the things that Drake is doing to him behind the scenes is invalid. So this entire situation is insane. I'm glad that social media has calmed down a bit. I'm glad that Ariana, you know what I'm saying, took responsibility and she apologized. Hopefully Pete Davidson will get some help because to me, what he wrote on social media was definitely a cry for help. So hopefully he will get the help that he needs before it's too late. And I'm glad that Nicki Minaj used her huge platform to basically speak up and have both of these gentlemen's back, okay? Especially being that Ariana Grande is like one of her really good friends. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Kanye West going off on social media and basically putting everything on blast between him and Drake and everything kind of snowballing out of control and involving other people who initially didn't have anything to do with the situation. So let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy mess. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.